It's a video. <laughs> no, it's a video. <laughs> no, it's a video. <laughs> On the 17th of September 2024, we embarked on our journey to Shenzhen, China via Hong Kong. MSI kindly invited us to China to check out their motherboard factory. Me, never having been to mainland China, I absolutely said yes because this was an amazing opportunity to see something that I'd never ever seen before and that was to see how motherboards were made. The thing is, I can't show you any of this stuff yet. We will be showing how it's all made, but yeah, you know how this goes. So enjoy this little bit of a different video. It's a travel vlog, I suppose. I don't know how to make these kind of videos. We are in Shenzhen, China for something really exciting. And I decided that I would make a vlog about my first time ever traveling to mainland China for something tech related. And just to give you guys a bit of a background on this, I am deathly afraid of heights. Are we in China or are we like somewhere in Europe? Like, where are we right now? Hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on right now? Here's the thing, you can't fly directly from Sydney to Shenzhen, you've got to go via Hong Kong. So we flew from Sydney to Hong Kong. It takes about nine and a bit hours and then we got a car from Hong Kong to Shenzhen across the border. Now, you're probably wondering why it's so quiet. Well, there's a thing called the Mid-Autumn Festival or the Mooncake Festival or the Moon Festival. And from what I understand is everyone on the 17th, which was the day that we left, they go home for a few days and they leave the big cities. And yeah, so it was very, very quiet. I was kind of surprised how quiet it was. There's an air raid siren going off. Um, have I just walked down the wrong street? <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is it me? I don't even know how iPhones work. Other than an air raid siren, which was a bit freaky because it was dead quiet outside and we didn't know what was going on. But oh yeah, obviously everything was fine. watching me it's really awkward <laughs> hey going guys I've got something very special for you today we're out here in Shenzhen in China at the MSI factory we're getting to see some really spicy new things that MSI has got to show us especially well I can't say what it is just yet the next day we traveled to the MSI factory I'm not exactly sure where it is in Shenzhen but it's just a little bit out maybe 30 to 40 minutes away by bus and we had like a coach with all the other media that came from around the world to attend this event. It was very, very cool. We can't talk about anything yet. There is a lot of spicy content coming, so make sure you're subscribed and all that stuff, but let's get on with it. And I guess show you some stuff. I, get, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how this works. It's a time machine. <laughs> This is just for your wife, by the way. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. It's a bit tight in the shoulders. It's not comfortable. It's on the Vomitron 9000. Which one should I do? Oh. Stefan, have you watched this in action yet? No. Oh, you don't know what's going to happen? No. It goes completely upside down. Why is he like this? Why is he, why is he like this? Why is he doing it? He needs to get on camera more often. He does, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's talented. He is talented. There's going to be a lot of talented food left over after this. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> What are you playing? Minecraft. 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 Minecra
The day after the motherboard tour, we were given an option. We could go back to the factory for a few hours and film some stuff if we missed anything, or go on a little tour of a little part of Shenzhen. So obviously I'd already shot everything because we're quite efficient when it comes to working when we're traveling. So we had the morning off and then we went to this little, it's kind of like a, a village I would say, but it's like in a walled city kind of thing. It was really cool because everything was super old. And as I was walking through this place, what are we doing? Where are we? What's going on? What are we doing? Are we going to like something? We're, we're following a bunch of tourists to <laughs> a temple. It looks like a temple or like a castle. Is that what it is? museum and park. I think it's an arts museum and park. An arts museum, okay. Well, we're going, I think. Is that how that works? Did someone say Nick? Yeah. Oh, I'm great, how are you? I'm better now. Got a cigarette. Um, you know, this is one of Australia's greatest pastimes, is pump and durries. In China. <laughs> it is my When favorite. it's cheap. <laughs> $2 a pack. Hell They're pretty much yeah. giving them away at this point. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you always look so upset? I'm not upset. Why are you I'm just upset? It in. It's just Why? the British like the British default face. Is it? Yeah, we're just very vanilla, aren't we? <laughs> are you, no, don't are you just... smile. That just, that, you've got to like look like you know, like resting bitch face like me. Rest in yeah. This was a very humid, this is not... We're, we're contemplating, we're cerebral. It's like, oh. I love being a tourist. It is my favourite thing in the world. This future is now, everybody. That is what AI will do to all of us. It will replace us. <laughs> Andy wants his job back. He wants to sweep yeah, the streets. Sweep the street. <laughs> That's all I'm good for. <laughs> Cleaning up the city. One hose at a time. All right, in we go. Oh, this is cool. Oh. This is very cool. Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, this is cool. What is it? Portraits? Do you want a portrait? That's pretty cheap. Look, like a moth to a light, RGB. Don't drink the water because it's electrified. It's got thunderbolt. I wonder if it is electrified water. <laughs> it's thunderbolt. It looks like it, eh? Hey? <laughs> I was you, looking for a USB-C port. Did you guys notice that we took the lanyards from the factory that yeah. we weren't supposed to take? Uh, that is a really, really good souvenir. Yeah. Because yeah. now we can swipe back in and make our own motherboards whenever we want. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Some would even call that a tweak town. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, ladies and gents, we are going into the Hall of Plaques. Okay. <laughs> okay, what kind of plaques do we have here? Do we, is it the same one that the dentist says is bad? Yeah, it could be or? a toothpaste mm. museum. <laughs> it's my favorite kind of museum. Oh, this has nothing to do with dentistry. This is really cool. My question is, are these replicas or the real thing? Because how long ago was that? Oh, look at him. He's doing what every cat does, scratching his ass. And Everything was really cool to look at. And I was having that feeling of like, oh, you know, I've never seen this before. So my brain didn't quite know how to process some of the things I was seeing. But what's more interesting is Everywhere we went in Shenzhen, I was saying to Claire, this is so skatable. Everything looks like you can skate here. It just looks like a giant level out of Tony Hawk. Everything was perfect. It was granite. It was marble. There were no caps on the ledges. And then as I was finishing saying that exact sentence, 
when we were in this like walled city slash village thing, this happened. Trust me to go all the way to China and find a way to skateboard. Here's the thing, this guy's skateboard that was running the shop, his trucks are super loose, I tightened them up a bit, but I didn't want to mess with someone else's setup, so you get what you get. This is me doing some things, well, trying to at least. It was, it was cool and, and fun. It was also extremely hot. It was like 35 degrees with 100% humidity. It was, yeah, it was insanely hot this day. It was actually insanely hot every single day we were there. Stefan from Tech Testers was heading to Hong Kong in the morning on the 21st, and we decided that we would join him, Andy from eTechnics, and James from Yikawat, so we could go and see Hong Kong. Because the thing is, sometimes when we fly to other places, we stop at the airport in Hong Kong. We never leave the airport. So even though we'd been to Hong Kong a bunch of times, we'd never actually been to Hong Kong. So a bit of a detour. We decided to leave Shenzhen a bit early and head out to Hong Kong with the squad. They let us put our bags in their hotel just for the afternoon. And we're gonna go get some coffee. I'm so excited with the rest of the YouTube fam. Say hello, everybody. Hello, hello everybody. You, you guys probably know who all these guys are. I don't need to do the thing that we need to do for YouTube. So yeah. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining. But it's nice rain. No, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's not very, cold. It's very warm rain. Yeah, it's, it's very, very nice. Brothers. But thank you for letting us okay. use your hotel for it's our nice dumping hotel. purposes. It's it is nice good. Hotel. I'll show you guys the hotel. Check this out. That's the hotel. There's an Andy. <laughs> and that's the view from their hotel. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't film because for us, it felt like we got an opportunity to hang out with a bunch of our YouTuber friends that we wouldn't typically get to have because everyone's from all over the world. And the thing is with that as well, usually when we see our friends overseas or at an event, there's a lot of pressure, but because of the nature of this whole trip, there was less pressure than usual. So I didn't film a lot of it because I just wanted to hang out with my friends and just talk about not tech stuff with them for once, right? You know, we just never get to hang out like that. As I said, I was hanging out with friends, so I didn't want to film everything all the time, but it was nice to just get a chance to see Hong Kong because I'd just never been there. And I got to say, Hong Kong is somewhere I would definitely Definitely, definitely, definitely go back. It just seemed so cool. It had such a mad vibe. The other thing that was really crazy is we were walking through the Hong Kong Metro and someone called out to me and said, hey, Nick from Gear Seekers, is, is it really you? And it was me. I wish I'd like filmed or taken a photo of this interaction, but it was insane because I gotta be honest, this is this kind of, uh, it tripped me out because I wasn't expecting to be recognized anywhere in the world, let alone Hong Kong. I said to this gentleman, I'm like, hey, look, I'm with all the other YouTuber friends that we've got out here. And he said to me, and I'm not joking, everyone else heard this. He was like, I don't watch any of them. I only watch you. And <laughs> even though it's, it's uh, it kind of disheartens me to like, that he doesn't watch my other YouTuber friends, the fact that he said it was just us was insane. So whoever you are, I wish I'd got your name. Shout out to you. Thanks for watching. And also thanks to you guys for watching because without you guys watching us do whatever it is that we do on YouTube, we would never get an opportunity to check out a motherboard factory. Absolutely insane opportunity. Again, shout out to MSI for giving us this chance to do this and shout out to everyone that we got to hang out with this week. Well, last week. Yeah, I absolute dream come true. I always wanted to go to Shenzhen and mainland China and Hong Kong. And I got to tick two of those things off my bucket list in a week. Absolutely. Oh, I, I'm so psyched that I got this opportunity. Again, thanks MSI. Thanks. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just really, really grateful that we get these opportunities. It's, 
It's something that I never ever take for granted. What an insane thing, making videos about computers on the internet and we get to see the world. What a vibe. <laughs>